Hey, Hi, I'm the fallen angel Christopher Daniels, an inspiration to children everywhere, a national treasure. You're watching Dre Gaming 41. Dre 41 Gaming, my man. Hello everyone, this is Dre41 and welcome to another episode of PWR Rivals. And we still are live in London, England for our Royal Invasion Tour and have a great show for you this evening. And in the opening contest tonight we have some awesome tag team wrestling here in PWR. And here come the hometown boys ready to make a violent entry. Is an elimination tornado tag team match. Making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 480 pounds. Charles and Duke Little. And the violent gentlemen making their way here on the last night of the Royal Invasion Tour. And uh, right around the corner, we have PWR in your house where uh, these men plan to be in action. Uh, we'll see exactly against who. Uh, but nonetheless, tonight they have a huge matchup here. The fans are on their feet and we are once again live in London, England. And this is going to be quite a test. These men making their comeback here to PWR. We haven't seen them in a while. And these are the Super Luchas. And we're going to see uh, what they bring here tonight. I mean, it's been a while since we've seen them on PWR television. And I know for sure that their manager, uh, Travis Adams, definitely wants to make them tag team champions here in PWR. They got to be able to climb the ranks here. Um, that's something that they haven't been able to do here in PWR. But tonight, I'm pretty sure that they plan to turn that around here. But it's a tall task, you know, not just in a... Uh, a t regular tag team match but in a three-way tag team war this is going to be a true test to see who is ready and prepared to make it to the next step in the PWR tag team division and uh, the violent gentlemen been there before so we'll see if they get there again and these men have also been there before former PWR tag champs And uh, the click in the building here on the last leg of the PWR Royal Invasion Tour. And uh, these two men here have, have had a scattered a scattered uh, win-loss record here in PWR for a while. When they first debuted, they went undefeated, even taking away the Tag Team Championships from then-former Tag Team Champions Phillies Most Wanted. After they lost the Tag Team Championships back to Philly's Most Wanted at Super Battle 86, they kind of floundered in the Tag Team Division, but now they have an opportunity to regain the gold in this match here. And this is definitely going to boost their rankings here, moving up two spots, whoever, whichever Tag Team wins this match here tonight. And this is going to be a very, very crazy contest here with these three teams. Whoa, didn't know what that was. Looked like it was going to be a low blow. And I'm telling you, it's going to be a little bit difficult to call this one here. And look at that, almost eliminating the click here. And the Violent Gentlemen are probably the fans' favorite here tonight in London, England. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to see who walks away with the victory here. And the referee has a tough, tough night ahead of him in this match. 
right now. It looks like the Violent Gentlemen are getting that work with uh, the Super Luchas. The Super Luchas doing their thing right now. And look at this Gorilla Press by the Beast here. And dropping down is that. That looks like Charles Bing just got dropped. And Ultimo Trino looked like he going for the ride. Throwing an elbow right to the face. I want to say that's... Wait, okay, I thought that was... Uh, Travis Rossi. Ooh, and a super kick taking down Ultimo Trino. Now, we got one of the Rossi brothers on the outside of the ring. Duke Little uh, facing the turnbuckle here. Looked like he's a little bit out of it. Ooh, DDT with the kip up the beast. Definitely doing his thing right now. He wants to walk away with the victory here tonight. Him and Ultimo Trino. The Super Luchas definitely want a tag team opportunity. Wait a minute. Combination shots by Duke Little. Oh my goodness, and then rolled out the ring. Looked like it got stopped there. And the click wants to get a victory here. Moving up two spots will definitely help them in the tag team race. And speaking of the tag team champions, uh, it's it's a little bit strange what's going on with them right now, especially with the Kimura Killer Roy Pierce trying to go after the junior heavyweight champion uh, Byron X12. And it might be a situation where he's double booked at PWR in your house. We're going to see... If that happens here later on, I mean this weekend, will be PWR in your house. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already so you will see that pay-per-view on this channel. And right now, Ultimo Trino looking like he's about to get that work. Turns him around. Big knee. Disc gets clothesline taking him down. And now the Beast getting into the ring looking like he wants to help his partner here. But okay, guess he didn't want to. Kick to the gut. Brings him in. Oh no. Ultimo, Ultimo Trino's in trouble here. Ultimo Trino's in trouble. Sit out. Power Bob just drilled him. And now he has to be prepared to help his partner here. Referee for the count. One, two, three. Ultimo Trino has been eliminated. And now the Beast is on his own here. He is going to have to find a way to really make it in this, in this match without his partner to back him up. And uh, it is a, a situation right now where he is safe. I mean, right now he is safe, but he does risk being double teamed here. And wait a minute, look at this springboard. Old soul by the big man. And probably the largest athlete in this match here. Wait a minute, going for the pin. Referee for the count too. Oh my goodness, and Duke Little able to break it up. And now, yeah, this is the situation where he's going to get double teamed and a super kick right in the back of the head. Oh my goodness, Duke Little felt that one. He felt that one. Wait a minute, reversal. And the best thing for the Beast right now is to stay outside the ring. That's probably the best bet, but he is an honorable man and definitely doesn't run from a fight. And so he's going to stay in the ring here, which probably doesn't help him at all. Ooh, back elbow. Now what's he going to do here? Oh, punch right to the back of the head. And it looks like the Violent Gentleman getting that work. It's like the Rossi brothers are really staying in this match right now. And they can possibly move up to ranks here winning this match and I'm telling you they look like the, the fan favorites right now I mean they're putting in that work oh my god oh come on <laughs> the worm and the elbow drop <laughs> didn't expect to see that one but oh no Duke Little with the tombstone pile driver tombstone pile driver and it might be over oh my goodness and it was a rope break Oh my goodness, it was a rope break. Ooh, kick to the gut. Off the ropes here, what is he going to do? Oh my goodness, that driving Horikarana right there. Oh, tried to go for a super kick, didn't get that one off. Charles Bing with the elbow right to the leg there. And now duck under, kick right to the legs. And wait a minute, look at this, the Beast. Gorilla press. Gorilla press by the Beast. Dropping down Duke Little. And Duke Little might be in trouble here. Kick to the gut. What is this? Picks him up. Drills him down. Brain Buster. Float over. Oh, and a rope break. I know the Violent Gentleman cannot stand that rope break here in this three-team war. But nonetheless, and look at that headbutt just took him out. That headbutt just took him out. Referee for the count. One, two. Oh, just a two count. Just a two count. The Beast able to stay in this one surprisingly enough and oh try to go for an arm bar attempt but the Rossi brothers are trying to break up everything right now I'm not really understanding that one that doesn't make a lot of sense to me uh, they shouldn't have let uh, the Beast and uh, Duke Little just battle it out and they handle someone else afterwards and oh look at this trying to go for a submission hold wasn't able 
to get the elimination. His brother's right there watching his back. Smart move. And look at this. <laughs> right from behind. He didn't even see it happening. And now Charles Bing has the advantage here. And now going for the look all oh, going for the cheap victory here. Referee for the count. And it's a three with his leg on the ropes. With his legs on the ropes. And now it looks like. It looks like the Violent Gentleman might just win this one here. They just might win this one here. The Beast. The Beast and, and the Rossi brother need to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> that one was a little bit wild there. He could have really gotten hurt. And this isn't a smart idea at all. They need to team up against the Violent Gentleman, eliminate them, and then go after each other. Th this doesn't make any sense for them to not team up. The Violent Gentlemen are too dangerous together. They are the last tag team in this match. Wait a minute, what the? Oh, and a punch right to the face. Oh my goodness, what was that? He must have had an illegal object in his hand. I don't know what that was, but he just punched him in the face and he is out cold now. And Charles Bing might be eliminating the beast here, saying it's over. Oh, tried to go for the knee, moved out the way, wasn't able to get that one off. But Charles Bing with the advantage now, hard Irish whip into the outside of the ring. The beast, oh my goodness, he reversed that knee strike that took so many men out in the past and which gained the, the wins here for the Violent Gentleman, made the multiple time PWR Tag Team Champions. And now it looks like the Beast might be in a world of trouble right now against Charles Bing. Good reversal there. Good judo throw. And now I think that's uh, Cameron Rossi has uh, Duke Little here in a bit of trouble. And as soon as I say that, big knee right to the face taking down the Rossi brother here. And now Duke Little, what is he going to do here? Trying to go for a pin. No, looks like it's going to be an arm bar. Uh, arm bar attempt here. Oh, a leg bar as well. And that's going to be a submission hold here. And is he going to tap out? I'm not sure he's going to be able to tap out off of that one. I don't know if he's uh, taking that much damage here tonight, but he's holding on that submission. And look like he let him go. He might be done. Cameron Rossi might be done here. And as soon as I say that, good reversal. And Duke Little trying to get to his feet. And why is he taunting him? He's letting his opponent get to his feet here, and he's taunting him. And a clothesline taking him outside the ring here. And I don't know how smart that was with an advantage. You want to keep him in the ring and get an elimination. Why take him outside the ring where he's safe from being pinned or submitted? And I don't understand that. But he is a former tag team champion. But he is on his own right now. And look at that discus forearm shot by Charles Bing onto the beast. Taking him down here. And uh, both members of the Violent Gentlemen, also known as Violence United, on opposite ends of the ring go behind. Look at this schoolboy kip up and an insecurity right to the side of the head. And the Beast is a large athlete, but he is as fast as any other athlete here in PWR in a spin kick. Yeah, the Violent Gentlemen are getting worked on right now. <laughs> they are truly getting worked on. And a discus forearm just taking down Charles Bing. He is in so much trouble. Duke Little is in trouble, and the Violent Gentlemen might get eliminated here. Powerbomb just drilled Duke Little. And it might be over here. It just might be over. He might get an elimination. Then there's going to be three men here. If he gets this, if he gets this off, two, three. Duke Little is eliminated now. Oh, pop up power bomb. And now it is any man's game here. Three teams left. And I, I can't believe it. this is now a a, a three-way dance here. Three-way elimination. The last, uh, the last members of each respected tag team here are in the match and the Violent Gentleman. Oh my goodness, Charles Bing busted open. And, the, and they are, he is getting double teamed here. Oh my goodness, inverted power slam. Yeah, they're, they're, now they're double teaming. Now they're double, oh wait a minute. Might be a little bit of an issue here. Irish whip right into the corner. And yeah, I think Travis Rossi had a little bit of an issue with that good reversal there by the Beast. And now he's Irish whipping him into the other corner. And you gotta watch out. Charles Bing is as sneaky as anyone here in PWR. Look at this. Springboard. Old salt by the big man. And he, a smart move going for the pen attempt here. Referee for the count. One, 
two, three. And, and the Rossies have been eliminated here. Charles Bing now have a, a whoa. Look at this gut buster. Wow. I, I was about to say I thought he had a little bit of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. The violent gentleman might win this one. Charles Bing with a knee right to the face. Just drilled him. Just drilled him. Going for the pin. Referee for the count. One, two, three. The violent gentlemen have won here tonight. Oh, my goodness. I mean, much respect to Charles Bing. Able to make it through this match. I am very surprised here. The, it, it was an even and fair contest with, with three of the remaining members of each team. And he was able to survive here tonight. I am very surprised here. But, I mean, to say they are multiple time PWR Tag Team Champions. I mean, if they know about going to war, they have definitely showed it here tonight. The violent gentleman walking away with the victory here tonight on Rivals. Congratulations. And up next, we have another matchup here in the women's division. And uh, this woman here wanting an opportunity at a woman here in PWR who's really been making moves. And Kinky Tammy wants an opportunity at a, a woman here who's uh, really been making waves ever since attacking the PWR Women's Champion. And uh, actually, I'm sorry, I apologize. The PWR Women's Champion who's been attacking the woman who attempted to take her out. And uh, this should be an interesting contest here mainly because... Of the little bit of an issue that the uh, PWR Women's Champion has against a woman who wants to and take that championship away. From New Orleans, Louisiana, the Pro Wrestling Women's World Champion, Taryn Lachlan. And Taryn Lachlan here, uh, current PWR Women's Champion, was attacked. A couple of weeks ago by the the debuting Britney Glam on PWR Rivals. And uh, you thought that the PWR Women's Champion was taken out. But last week she came back and assaulted Britney Glam. And uh, this weekend at PWR In Your House. We are going to see those two women go at it for that PWR Women's Championship. And now we have a match. She has to worry about this one right here. But wait a minute. Look at this kinky Tammy. What is this here? DDT already. DDT taking down Taryn Lachlan. And Kinky Tammy wants to get a victory here. She might implement herself in that championship matchup here. And why is she taunting? She needs to stay on point. That's the champion. Big forearm shot taking down Taryn Lachlan. Another one taking her down. Oh, wait a minute. Roll through. Oh, and a kick right to the side of the head. Taryn Lachlan backing down into the... The turnbuckle here, and the one thing you got to think about is Taryn Lachlan has been off for a while here, uh, nursing her injuries, and wait a minute, look at this. Oh my goodness, that cutter, that avalanche cutter taking down Lachlan. Now what is this? Oh, tried to go for something there, caught an elbow instead. Taryn Lachlan, the champ here, not letting that one slide, and now she is dazed and confused. Belly to belly suplex. Belly to belly suplex and wait a minute. What is going on here? That sounds like Britney Glam's music here, and we might see we might see some uh, additional action happen here tonight. And wait a minute, that's Britney Glam right behind her into a RKO. She just took her out just there. The referee couldn't even see it. And Kinky Tammy going for the penitent here. Referee for the count one two and three kinky tammy walking away with a victory against the pwr women's champion that rk ho out of nowhere oh my goodness Brittany glam stopping the champion from 
winning her first match back from injury. Wow. Brittany Glam wants to just tarnish the champion here in PWR. And I cannot believe it. Oh my goodness, what is going to happen? And Kinky Tammy with the victory. But what will the PWR Women's Champion do with this being attacked from behind here? I guess we will have to wait. And up next, we have a parkour contest between... Wait a minute. Look at this here. Wait a minute. Showtime with the attack from behind against Bobby Bass. The former PWR World Heavyweight Champion attacking Bobby Bass from behind. And now the referee getting order of this match calling for it. Oh, look at that trip up by Bass here. And wow, Showtime attacking him from behind. And the one thing you got to think about with this is uh, Showtime wants his revenge. He wants his, his win back from Bobby Bass here. Will he be able to get it here tonight? We're going to have to see. But these two men definitely have some issues they want to handle here tonight. And now look at this. What is this? Hammerlock. Back suplex. And Showtime felt that one. He definitely felt that one. And that one can definitely take any man out right there. But Showtime definitely wants to get the victory here tonight. Even the score here. And now what is Bobby Bass about to do here? Looks like he's going for some weapons underneath the ring. And let's see what he brings to the... Ooh, he has a bat. And Showtime got out the ring. Smart move. And look at Showtime being quick with his feet here. Not allowing him the ability to swing that bat. Ooh, and a quick punch. Ooh, jab. And they can go anywhere in the arena here. Ooh, and a forearm shot. Showtime felt that one. Go behind. Oh, my goodness. Half Nelson suplex just flipped him inside out. Oh, my goodness. Showtime has to get it together here. He is getting worked over by a Bobby Bass, the... Uh, one of the you know newer uh, talents here in PWR, and now Irish Whip with the reversal, and he's going for the ride here. Punch right to the face and dropping Bobby Bass down to the ringside area. Showtime now. What is he gonna do? And a kick right to the small of the back, and it's kind of it seems like a situation where the rookie has an issue with the vet here. And look at Showtime now throwing those hammer fists. And it looks like Bobby Bass was able to block a majority of them, but still some got through. And oh, that stomp definitely got through right there. And now what is Showtime going to do here? Trying to go to the wishing well one too many times. Bobby Bass had that scouted. Reversal that one. And now, oh, kick to the gut. What is this? DDT on the outside of the ring here. But the one thing they have to remember is uh, you can only get a pinfall. And the inside of the ring. This is not a false count anywhere match. Look at that double leg takedown by Showtime. Ooh, and a kick right to the chest there. And once again, these two men have such a rivalry brewing here. Not even only on PWR television, but also on social media as well. Showtime continuously calling out Bobby Bass here. And Bobby Bass feels like he has a... He, he, he's beating him and he wants to get past Showtime. But Showtime wants his win back here and I, I don't know if he's going to be able to get it here tonight Bobby Bass has uh, been on a roll or ever since uh, defeating Showtime here and now that sidekick oh forearm shot Ooh, another forearm shot Showtime able to reverse that one and now trying to pick up Bobby Bass not letting that one go at all and now look at those fists are flying here Showtime is not playing around and oh my goodness just throws him right into the Right into the, the, the ring post and throws him into the ring post again. And that can definitely mess up your face here, bust you open here. And Showtime wants that victory back. Bobby Bass wants to move forward with his career here. Oh my goodness, jumping reverse STO. Just drilling him face first into the mat. And now tossing Showtime back into the ring here where a pinfall or submission can take place. And now, wait a minute, going up top here. What's this? Oh, tried to go for a senton. Didn't get that one off. Oh, okay. That was strange enough and now taunting. Showtime here. Uh, I don't know if he's tried to play that one off, but uh, nonetheless, still has the advantage here. Oh, and a big clothesline taking down Showtime. Another clothesline taking him down. 
Try to go for a close line of his own. Snap. Ooh, snap. Slam right there. And now what is he about to do here? I'm mean, getting out the ring. Oh, and now he has a bat, and he is going to use it against Showtime. And it hits him right in the leg with the bat multiple times. And Bobby Bass is not playing around. He is trying to take Showtime out here. Oh, no. It might be over here. Look at this. Look. Wait a minute. What is this? Look at that. Look at that arm bar. Reverse arm bar. And no, Showtime able to get out of that one. And I don't think he really worked the arm too much. But that huge clothesline definitely took down Bass. Going for the penitent here. Referee for the count. Just the two count. Bass able to kick out here in Showtime. Now has the advantage. And I, once again, I, I don't know if beating down your opponent with a, a weapon maybe in the legs and then going for an arm submission is the smartest move. Uh, but nonetheless, now Showtime has the advantage against the uh, rising star here in PWR. Wait a minute. Go behind into a Blue Thunder powerbomb. And you already know what might be coming next here. Going for the pin attempt here. Referee going for the count. One, two, oh, just a two count. Just a two count. Bobby Bass showing his fortitude. And Showtime not appreciating that. And it might be time for the show closer here. And yes, him with the show closer. And he might get the victory. This might be tied. One, one. Referee for the count. One, two, and just a two count just a two count bobby bass able to kick out here and showtime cannot believe it but nonetheless look at bobby bass getting to his feet here oh big clothesline taking him down another clothesline taking him down now duck the clothesline of his own and a oh my goodness a backbreaker right there by showtime and now picking up the rising star good reversal there by bass oh kick to the gut what is this here? Pump handle. Pump handle into a neck breaker. He felt that one. He definitely felt that one. And now going out the ring again. What is Bass going to do? And now looking like he wants to get a weapon here. And Showtime might be in some trouble. And now, oh my goodness. He has a sledgehammer. Are you serious? Ooh, almost hit Showtime with that. Ooh, tried to throw it again. And now back and forth with the sledgehammer. Showtime with the, with the hit right to the gut. Wait a minute. Look at this. Pick some. Oh, no. Powerbomb on the sledgehammer. Oh, my goodness. It might be over. It might be over. One, two, three. Showtime powerbomb Bobby Bass on a sledgehammer. Yeah. I'm. Oh, my God. Look at that powerbomb on the outside, too. Just a bunch of power bombs going around here. Wow, Showtime able to get uh, the the rivalry to one one here. Now you know they have to have the re uh, the rubber match here. But wow, he just power bombed him on a sledgehammer. Showtime not caring anymore. Here is your winner. Wow, a victory by Showtime. You know these men are going to have to battle each other again. Wow. And tonight might be a clean sweep here if it goes the way that uh, this challenger wants it to go. But nonetheless, the PWR Junior Heavyweight Champion is in action here Making tonight. His way to the ring, accompanied by Ben E. Bates. And from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Pro Wrestling Junior Heavyweight World Champion, Byron the Legend X. And Byron X12 in action here tonight. But the one thing you have to remember is uh, last week, both members of uh, the British Lanterns lost their match against the current PWR Tag Team Champions. So it, it makes you question, you know, I mean, will Byron be able to get 
a victory here tonight and, and possibly, you know, be able to redeem himself somehow because the last two times these men met in the ring, X-12 lost. Um, so I'm not sure if that's going to be the case here tonight, but if the PWR Tag Team Champions have it their way, that's exactly what's going to happen here. A clean sweep is definitely something uh, I don't think we've seen and here before in PWR. And Roy Pierce here tonight to gain another victory from the PWR Junior Heavyweight Champion. This is just a match of champions right now. And uh, we're going to see exactly what happens between these men. This is going to be very, very tough for X-12 to come back on. And wait a minute, look at this. Uh, Roy Pierce wearing green here. <laughs> uh, maybe is that a message or something? Uh, I guess we'll have to... I have to ask Roy Pierce about that one wearing green. Uh, that, <laughs> that that's saying something right there. Look at Jonathan Ray just as serious. He had a victory last week against Benny Banks, and so now the third match between these men and Roy Pierce wants that junior heavyweight championship. X12 ready to go. Roy Pierce ready to go. Referee calls for the bell, and these two men meeting in the middle. And now Roy Pierce with the advantage. Ooh, look at that uppercut right to the face of X-12. And now picking him up here, showing off his strength. Oh, my goodness, Snake Eyes right across the top rope here. And X-12 is in some trouble. And uh, Roy Pierce with an elbow drop in Benny Banks' face when he seen that elbow drop. Knew that he uh, dropped some weight down on him. And... Uh, Roy Pierce is a very large junior heavyweight here. Definitely has a lot of muscle here. Oh, now a kick right to the head. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, he's he's tipping the scales here of a junior heavyweight. He is definitely tipping the scales. Wait a minute, roll through. Roll through here. And a neck breaker taking down X-12. And he is feeling it right now. Going for the penitent here. Referee for the count. One. So, oh, just a one count there, X-12 able to kick out. And the one thing you have to think about here is, will X-12 be able to win here tonight? Will he be able to show his dominance? I mean, to, to, to make one point, even though he did lose his matches against Roy Pierce's last two, every title defense, he's won. So, I mean, it, it's just a situation here where it's, okay, even if it is a, you know, a loss it's a non-title loss when the championship is on the line for any champion I feel like that's the most important uh, match that they would have and now look at this spin kick right to the face taking down Roy Pierce and Pierce is in some trouble here he felt that kick right to the face and uh, down he goes and now oh no X-12 wants to break his arm oh my goodness he might just have done that he might just have broken the arm of Roy Pearson now working on his opponent here. Oh no, going to the wishing well again, trying to break the arm of Roy Pierce. And Pierce is filling that one. Pierce is definitely not appreciating that one at all. And now, what's this? What's this? X12 off the ropes. Look at this. People's bone salt. And look at the height on that moonsault there. He caught some uh, some air with that one. And now roll through again. X-12 is actually on a roll right now against Roy Pierce. Oh, and another neck breaker. He is putting hands on one half of the PWR Tag Team Champions. And now going for the pin attempt here. Referee for the count one. And just a one count there. Roy Pierce able to withstand the beatdown. And stay in this match here. And a kick right to the small of the back. Oh, and look at this. Getting back to his feet here. And X-12 still with the advantage. Hammer lock here. Elbow right to the side of the face. And now X-12. Wait a minute, what's this? Hammer lock. DDT. Just drilled the champion. Going for the pin attempt here. Referee for the count. One. 
two, and just a two count. X12 able to kick out. X12 able to kick out. Oh no. Oh no, it might be over. Roy Pierce might be finishing off the champion here. What is he planning on doing? Code Breaker taking down the champion here, and it might be over. If he goes for the pin attempt here, he might be able to finish it. Going for the pin. Referee in for the count. One, two. Oh, almost a three count. Almost a three count. X12 able to kick out at the last second. And now look at him taunting his opponent, telling him to get to his feet here. Big clothesline taking down X12. Another clothesline taking him down. Try for his own super kick. And now Roy Pierce has the advantage again here. And this might be the momentum killer here. Look at this hammerlock. DDT again. Going for the pin attempt here. Referee for the count. Oh, is he? Referee one, two, and just a two count. X12 able to kick out again. Roy Pierce cannot believe it. And now calling for him to get up a third time. Oh my goodness. Code breaker. And is it over now? Could he clean sweep the champion? Going for the pin attempt here. Referee for the count. One, two, three. Roy Pierce with a clean sweep. I cannot believe it. But I mean, if you think about it, if you think about it, I mean, only thing that matters is if he defends that championship successfully. These three wins can mean nothing if he doesn't take that championship away from X-12. It means absolutely nothing. So we are going to see who walks away with the victory between these two men and, uh, you know, a championship match. I, I mean, I, this is going to be tough for Roy Pierce because he has to defend those PWR Tag Team Championships. They're going to have to do that. So we're going to see if they're able to do that and if Roy Pierce is able to win a championship. I mean, he will, he will make PWR history. If he's able to defend those Tag Team Championships and win the PWR Junior Heavyweight Championship. But nonetheless, look at those DDTs and then the pin combination right after Referee getting into perfect positioning here. Wow. I can't believe it. And Roy Pierce with the victory here tonight on the last leg of the World Invasion Tour right before end your house. Congratulations to Roy Pierce. And in the main event here tonight, we are going to have four men go at it in the ring here for a championship opportunity making his way to the ring from lexington fayette kentucky weighing in at 265 pounds devon caldwell and devon caldwell making his return here to pwr the former pwr television champion and we are going to see where his career takes him after tonight with this match here. He gets to choose what championship he is going after if he wins here tonight. And that goes for any competitor here if, if they win. So we are going to see this man make the first entry into this match, DC. And uh, he calls himself the self-proclaimed main event of PWR. And he definitely has the pyro to show it. <laughs> We're going to see what he can do here tonight. This is going to be quite a test for him. Uh, seeing how he's been off of TV for a little bit here in PWR. But now he has made his return here. And we are going to see him uh, battle it out here in a... And this match is determined where his career goes. Once again, a win here will get you a championship opportunity. And now coming out next, this man has been medically cleared and makes his return to PWR. First, from Knoxville, Tennessee, weighing in at 241 pounds, 
Nate Myers. And Father Nate Myers, the leader of Prairie Lane, was injured uh, two weeks ago going up against the Legend D here on PWR Rivals uh, in a loss, um, unfortunately, on his end. Uh, he was injured in that match, but now he has made a full recovery, and this week he is in the main event on PWR Rivals, the last leg of the Royal Invasion Tour, and this man is scary. This man, I mean, even though he's decked out in all white, this man is dark. This man is the true emphasis of evil here. This man is, is it's just very dangerous. And the one thing you got to think about with this man here is he always has a motive. He always has a plan regardless win or lose. This man, I don't know what his plans are here in PWR, but he knows. And I am sure we will find out all in due time. Father Nate Myers is here. He is back. And uh, I believe these other three competitors here better be very wary of this man here because he is no joke he can definitely hurt you especially with his followers and now this man making his return to pwr as well and johnny john Las vegas nevada weighing in at 246 pounds johnny john and johnny john making his return to pwr and you know for a fact that he wants a championship opportunity as well. He actually was attempting to go after the PWR Hardcore Championship uh, with the champion, the multiple time champion here, uh, Dustin Jeffries. But I uh, wasn't able to get the job done there. Uh, we're going to see if he wins here tonight. Who is he going to go up against? I mean, that's going to be the question. Honestly, that is the true question. Who? would he actually challenge i mean the field is open i mean and this is not just for a singles championship if he wants he can go for a tag team for an example if father nate was to win he can say you know what i'm gonna have my followers brother hale and brother luke challenge the tag team champion if that's what he wants to do because he's a part of that group he can determine that if he that's what he wants to do or he can say, you know what, I'm going to go up against the World Heavyweight Champion, whoever that may be. Johnny John can win and say, hey, I want to go after the Hardcore Champion. I want to go after the Television Champion, whoever that may be. So we will see exactly who walks away with the victory here tonight in a championship opportunity. Uh, to be told at a later date, we'll definitely let you know when that championship match will happen. But these four men got a great opportunity here tonight to get a championship matchup in their career and this man here definitely wants a championship weighing in at 220 pounds aiden davis and aiden davis representing philly's most wanted all day uh he he definitely wants to win a match here now a little bit strange things have been happening with uh with uh with davis here one he came out with the legend d um, to back him up against Prairie Lane, which is a bit odd, but I mean, none of, I mean, because, well, it, it's not odd. It actually makes sense because Aiden Davis was attacked by Prairie Lane. Uh, he wanted to back up the legend D. Uh, he was able to defeat Nate Myers. And now it seems like Aiden Davis is kind of interjecting himself wherever Nate My uh, Nate Myers is to kind of stop his momentum and look at that Nate Myers trying to go up top against Aiden Davis and get knocked right down and uh, DC going up against Johnny John here and uh, these four men I do believe well no no Aiden Davis and Nate Myers have met up in the ring before but DC and Johnny John this is their first time drop kick right to the small of the back here now turns him around, kicks to the gut, brings him in. What is this here? Looks like Power Bomb City just drilled DC. And uh, Johnny John making his return to PWR. He wanted some. He wanted to go to war here tonight. And he has a great opportunity. And now look at that face rake. Just raking the face of DC. And once again, these four men are willing to do any and everything possible to get the victory here tonight. 
and Aiden Davis wants a championship opportunity. Hell, I know DC wants a championship opportunity after already uh, getting gold here in PWR. Would he possibly want that television championship back? Will he set his, soul, his uh, sights on the World Heavyweight Championship? I mean, we are going to see it. Look at that knee right to the face. Just drilling. Just drilling Johnny John. Hell, in the current television champion... Uh, Tommy Blaze uh, made his return and he'll be defending his championship and you know what the one thing I can say about that is Tommy Blaze the current PWR television champion will be defending his television championship in a three way contest against Marcus Creed and Ken Washington at PWR in your house that will be one of the matches that will happen that night now look at this Exploder suplex on the outside and Aiden Davis head just hit the corner of those steps. And he might be done for right now. Forearm shot. I think that woke up Aiden Davis and now throwing those fists. The one thing you don't want to get into is a hand a fist fight with Aiden Davis. That is not gonna work well on your end. Not at all. Aiden Davis has that uh Thanos punch that can take any man out. Now look at this, Johnny John draping the former television champion's throat across the top rope here and now look like he's gonna do an Indian deathlock here trying to wear down the legs of the big man and DC definitely holds a weight size height advantage against every other uh, opponent here in the ring and also outside the ring and now what is Johnny John going to do here Johnny John looking like he wants to take out the champion here oh forearm shot just took him down just took him down that forearm shot knocked him silly and now johnny john with the headbutt holding on another headbutt taking him down and the trifecta of headbutts and dc might be done dc might be done here and now aiden davis what is he trying to do trying to get back into the ring here look at this for the count oh just a two count just a two count dc able to kick out and now Aiden Davis trying to put the boots, trying to put the boots to uh, Father Nate here. Forearm shot right to the small of the back. Oh my goodness, Aiden Davis teeing off. And look at that innovative move by Johnny John. And now, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what's this? Thanos punch. Thanos punch out of nowhere. Referee, wow, what's going on with the ref here? Going for the count two. And just a two count DC able to kick out. And Aiden Davis throwing that Thanos punch out of nowhere. Oh, called that shot right from the side. Kick to the gut. Aiden Davis better defend himself here. Backed onto the ropes here. And look at Johnny John putting those hands on him. Well, feet on him. And down goes Davis. And now all four men back into the ring here. Oh, my goodness. Forearm shot right to the small of the back. And now DDT on Davis. Oh, my goodness. Fisherman Buster. And now going for the pin attempt here, ref, oh. I don't know if that was a rope break or Father Nate accidentally broke that up. I'm not too sure on what that was. But now Aiden Davis might be going for the ride here. It might be over for him. Up and down he goes. Welcome to Prairie Lane. And going for the pin, one, two, and just a two count. Aiden Davis able to kick out. Aiden Davis able to kick out here, and I, I can't believe it. I thought it was over for Aiden. And now, what's this here? Father Nate. What is this? What is this here? Deadlift into a German suplex. Folding AD inside out. An elbow right to the back of the head here. And now picking him up. Oh, look at that high-risk maneuver. Elbow drop right to the back. And Johnny John has to stop taunting. He has to stay on point. You can't just taunt DC all the time here. Oh my goodness. Forearm shot. Busting open. Aiden. And now a jawbreaker. Aiden Davis don't care about any blood here. He works. Big clothesline taking down Johnny John. Another clothesline taking him down. Ducks it. Off the ropes. Oh my god. Huge clothesline taking down Johnny John. And now look at this. DC going after Aiden. Picks him up. Down he goes. Going for the pin attempt here. Referee for the count. One, two, three. Aiden Davis eliminated first here tonight. 
Aiden Davis not able to walk away with the victory. And now look at this. Picking him up here. No reversal. DDT. DDT by Father Nate. And now what is he going to do here? Picking up DC. And now got his head. Wait a minute. No, it looks like the main event able to work his way out of that hold. And now it's a three-way battle forearm shot. Oh, Nate, go behind. What is this? Oh, my goodness. Try to drape him across the ropes there. Now Johnny John teeing off against Father Nate. And a kick right through a knee right to the face. And now Johnny John picking up Father Nate here. Lifts him up. Rolls through. Guillotine. Guillotine and no. Wow. Father Nate not having none of that. Getting right out of that submission hold. And now big elbow. Now what is he going to do here? Oh, kick to the gut. Both of these men actually thinking of the same thing. But Nate a little bit quicker. Pump handle. Oh, fall away. Pump handle. And now what is Father Nate going to do here? Wanting to slow down the match, but raking the forearm across the eyes of Johnny John. And now what's this? Oh, a clothesline taking down DC. He was planning on doing his finisher there. Oh my goodness, no face wash. And down goes DC. He didn't even see it coming. He did not see it coming in a backbreaker by Johnny John. And now... Father Nate rolling out the ring. DC is in some trouble here. And what's this? Look at this. Fisherman Buster. It might be over. It might be over here. Going for the count. Oh, rope break. Oh, my goodness. Rope break. Oh, that is a tough one. And now look at this. Look at this. Trying to go for a submission hold and another rope break. They got to be aware of where they are in the ring. And Father Nate now, what is this? Picks him up, DDT. It might be over. Oh no, good reversal there. Now go behind with the reversal, kick right to the back of the leg. Oh, and a clothesline right in back of the head, and out goes Johnny John. And now Father Nate with the clothesline taking down DC. Now what is he going to do here? What is he going to do here, picking him up? Oh, look at that back body drop. And DC is not playing around at all. And now calling for the leader of Prairie Lane to get to his feet. Kick to the gut. Look at this. Fisherman Buster. She, he's done. And look at this. Johnny John sweeping in for the pins. Two and three. Father Nate eliminated. And look at that. Low crossbody. Big man wasn't able to get that much air. Johnny John busted open here. And, uh. That might be cause for DC to get the victory here. Oh, my goodness. Just drills him down. Pin combination. One, two, and just a two count. Just a two count. Oh, my goodness. DC. DC feels like he has this match in his hands. He can taste the victory. But will he be able to take out Johnny John? Throwing the boots to him right there. And now what is he going to do? Picking his opponent up off of the ground here. And now look at this. Picks him up. Drills him down. It might be over. It might be over. DC might have a championship opportunity. Oh, no. Not going for the pin. Not going for the pin. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Just slam his face right into the mat. And it's over. It's over. DC is about to win this match. Kick to the gut. Fisherman Buster. Oh my goodness. It's over. It's over. DC will have a championship opportunity. Who will it be against? Devon Caldwell with the win. Coming back from losing the television championship to now having a championship opportunity. Look at that. Thanos punch. Not able to put away uh not able to put away DC in that DDT. And then, I mean, Aiden Davis. I mean, Aiden Davis definitely did his thing, but nonetheless, he wasn't able to get the victory here tonight. It's just tonight was not his night. And then the back and forth between Father Nate and Johnny John. And then look at this huge DDT just drilled him. But nonetheless, this man has the victory. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for PWR in your house. Like, subscribe, comment. Catch you on the next video. Later.